Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video. I had another video. I'm putting in a max line air system in my in my shop, and I'm doing it a little different than you know. It's it's a, basically it's supposed to be an externally mounted system. Uh, I've had one in my other shop for like six years, and it's never given me a ounce of trouble. I decided this shop's kind of showy. I didn't want those blue lines bolted all over my walls, so I'm actually building it into the ICF, but. That video, I've got a few extra steps I want to take before I put it out there. So I thought I would do a really simple video, something I'm going to start doing. Um, people are starting to send me some tools and stuff like that that they want me to review. This is not one of them. But um, as I do these review videos, I'll have links. Uh, it's called an Amazon Affiliate Program thing, where I've done it a few times in the past, but I've never really, I don't know. I'm a builder. I, all this online stuff has kind of been a, been a blessing, but I also have no idea what I'm doing. <clears throat> so... Um, a lot of guys talk about rasping ICF when you're going to do waterproofing on pools or exterior surfaces, uh, stucco, you, you need to rasp it. Um, and nobody, there's not really any videos about the tools or the, or the parts or anything. But anyway, I'm going to link this. This is a Bond uh, 6 by 14 rasp. And I'm going to, it's like 24 bucks on Amazon. But if you click the link in my description, not only this rasp, but anything else you buy, when you click through that link, Amazon has to pay me a little commission, which is kind of nice uh, for making these videos. Um, just It doesn't cost you anything. Just if you click through my link and buy anything, they have to pay me. So this rasp is really slick. Um, I'll just show you. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm on the garage today, but it would work the same in, in a pool to prep it um, for, you know, uh, base crate, uh, skin microplaster, whatever. ICF that's been out in the elements for any period of time. You've probably seen me do this before. <laughs> if you... Uh, Put your hand on it. You can see that it gets it gets kind of chalky. The uh, surface gets broken down by the sun. Also, pollen and dust and everything else accumulates on the surface, and it makes it where nothing will stick. You can stick tape to it or anything, but this rasp is just a very heavy, um, like carbide sandpaper. And uh, you can see all these fingerprints. Somebody uh, had muddy hands and decided to wipe their hands on this. But you can make a couple passes. And it's that fast. It just you take off all the. You can, you see that, and that that will now accept you know stucco or something adhesive for it. Also, where we have the electric line buried, it's like one pass, and it's flat now. You know, so it's ready for drywall. This bigger one obviously takes a couple passes, but you can see that I flattened it off three passes. It's very, very fast cutting. It doesn't take a lot of work, and that surface is now prepped for whatever you're gonna do. Um, you don't wanna leave, I mean, if you're drywalling, it doesn't matter, screw it right on there, siding, something else, but anything that needs to stick to the ICF needs to be rasped, simple, easy tool. So, uh, like I said, link is in the description for this. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side, all cleaned up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, you can see over here, this wall's already done. I've rasped off my airline. I'm gonna have five of these airports. I've got three of them in the garage, one across from the other one. This one is gonna service my plaz cutter that plugs in right here. The other one is on the other side of the garage just because I don't, I'm just probably gonna have some like coiled up airlines. I don't wanna have to have them pulled all the way across the garage. And the other one is out by the garage door. Those two actually, these blocks, and I'll show them to you in the video that's coming up in a week or so about the airline system but they also have a rear port in the block, so they punch out the uh, outside. So I have one in my yard and one facing the road out on my street. Um, you know, where honestly, I'm just gonna have an airline try to be neighborly. We have a real walkable community, and I'm gonna have a airline sitting there that anybody can fill up their bicycle tire or whatever. You know, it'll always be charged. I've got a 15 CFM uh, big compressor over here that's gonna run everything for me. I'm kind of excited to move all my metal stuff, my welding stuff to this garage so it's not in my wood shop. Um, where I always worry about a fire. So you can kind of see how clean it is. It doesn't take two seconds. I mean, I, realistically, probably eight, nine minutes to rasp this whole wall off. This, this side here is completely ready for drywall. I know some of you guys like to you know, look at the details behind me in video. The reason I've got these multiple lines running, because I'm probably gonna have a cold plunge and some other stuff in here that needs dedicated lines, maybe a fridge. So I have a dedicated receptacle, dedicated receptacle. That's why they look like they're kind of weird how they're spidering down into, but it's one run, one run, and then this run daisy chains around the rest of my shop 
for my GFCIs in my, in my shop. So anyway, um, like I said, guys, if you want one of these, they're like 24 bucks on Amazon. One thing, you can see I've got a few little orange lines here. This is just a little aside. Let it dry really good. Some, if you push on it and it feels like it's, it's dry on the outside, but you can still feel that it's gooey on the inside. If you go too soon, which I'm obviously uh, prone to not having the patience, you'll get a little gummy uh, foam on your rasp and it'll load the rasp and it'll probably shorten the life of it. Um, so, you know, give it, an, give it over, uh, overnight or at least a couple hours to completely cure out. But like I said, link is in the description. I've got a bunch of cool content coming up here at a bunch of pools. I'm gonna do a tour video on the pool with the three-sided spillover that you've seen in a couple shorts. Um, but otherwise, like I said, guys, I'm gonna to try to start posting a tool video maybe every once every week or two because they're starting to send me some stuff that, you know, the price points and stuff make a lot of sense on some of them. Some of them suck, and I'll tell you so. So anyway, uh, looking forward to next time, guys. Uh, getting ready for training in August. Like I said, if uh, I'll link the video for last week's training video if you're still looking for a spot. I think there's um, three or four spots left on that one. So I'll see you next week.